a cyberbully. The this group of people stalking me everywhere I go. My aunt Diane, Dan Ryanbolt, my caseworker at the time, Dawn, Erica Rodman, uh, my mom, Joanne, my brother, my dad, Tracy. Joanne talks to Rose, who then talks to Dan, or Dan who told Rose, and, and, and I know, so Erica and Joanne, Rose, hmm... Just read some of these horrifying comments. This is Joanne. You treat everyone badly. Your parents, your brother, the people who try to help you. The DSS worker gets called a fat ass. They are paying for your housing, you idiot. You should be ashamed. And if you're not, you are really a certified nut and belong in a locked unit without any diapers. And by the way, threatening to bring a bomb into a federal building is a felony. Every local jurisdiction has had it with you. Now let the federal marshals handle you. Tracy tries to make diagnosis of me. Munchausen syndrome, this is your problem and this is exactly why you are so adamant that you don't want mental health placement because they will know. You want to continue to act like you have autism, which you have not been diagnosed with. That's right. Look at all these. We must include that he chooses to piss and shit himself and requires someone to clean him up and he will have to guide their hand to do it. You're going to love this here. Jordan Thompson. He's not autistic. Never diagnosed. And multiple agencies across WNY have tried to help him to no avail. He's not autistic Jordan Thompson. He's seen many doctors and has never been diagnosed with autism. He wants that diagnosis because he is an attention seeker and thinks autism will get him the most attention. That's right. Jordan Mall many, many people and agencies and medical professionals have tried for well over a year to get him the proper help he needs. Please don't jump to conclusions. The help is there and has been offered numerous times. Help has to be accepted. The proper diagnosis has to be accepted. Wow! Fortunately none of this is true. I met Andrew on an autism page where he was claiming to be autistic. I fell for his BS hook line and sinker. After a couple of weeks talking to him and hearing what he was doing to his family I realized he was the abusive one. He would send me videos thinking it showed him being abused. They showed him abusing his elderly, disabled parents. They had to obtain a restraining order against him and he still came back. He was literally torturing them all day every day. You have no idea. I have two autistic kids so when he said he was autistic and being abused I wanted to help. He sent me years of medical records, he's never been diagnosed with autism. He wants an autism diagnosis because he craves attention. He needs mental help. He threatens to sue everyone that's helped him including the police. He's called the Tonawanda police over 500 times in a year. He's gone to the ER over 80 times in a year. Keep in mind he was in jail earlier this year for a couple of months. It's attention-seeking behaviors. Oh and then there's his harassment of everyone including his case managers, therapists, etc. He can literally fill your voicemail in a day. If you block his number from other numbers. He's a tech whiz. I am all of a sudden getting upset. For your safety and your family's safety I would be very cautious engaging with Andy. The situation is not as it appears to outsiders. He trolls boards pretending to be autistic in order to garner sympathy from people. He had one woman several states away buying him things from Amazon and having them shipped to his home. Most of what Andy tells people on the outside is fabricated, so be aware that he is extremely mentally ill. He changes his symptoms, body language, speech, and mannerisms to present as autistic, depending on whom he's talking to. He didn't have these issues a year ago. He spoke normally, lived alone, didn't use diapers, didn't use a speech app, and worked a job at a fast food restaurant where they were considering promoting him to manager. He has a history of theft, violence, credit card. Um, 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 I don't know how to say this. Good night, guys.